Hi, good evening. It's me, Darren Dion Aquino. Your choice for Congress of District 4 of Nassau County. It's 1040. I wanted you to have a nighttime video. You've seen me in the morning in my home. You've seen me driving, picking my wife up from work and the work that she does, which is serve the disabled children who suffer with autism. In talks about our families, which we should know, we should know as much as I'm letting sharing with you as your candidate of choice, as I keep getting the emails, and thanks for the emails, I'm, I'm honored to take on this, this task of being your congressman, uh, your representative. I get overwhelmed every day by the privileges that are taken away from hardworking Americans who founded and built this country. Our forefathers are turning in their graves. My mother-in-law, I'm here up in Riverdale in a rent-controlled house. That's where she pays $9.99. And it's such a struggle to get the benefits that we put in place for her. I'm here because the home end attendant has not been provided fully like she should have at 84 years old with her debilitated condition, especially the blood clot she has now, because they're very serious. The doctor she sees now has been my personal physician for 24 years. Let's take a quick walk. I want to show you something in the kitchen. Come on, take a walk with me. Forgive my, keep it up. Forgive my pajamas, my wife is filming, so she's uh, trying to be comedic here. Okay. But here, look at this. A rent-controlled apartment, paid for. She's been here for 48 years. What, what I'm showing you is not what's in the cabinet, but this is the original cabinet. These original cabinets should have been changed. You see this paint on the wall? It's the original paint. My mother-in-law washed the walls. Now she's, you know, her husband died at 52 from melanoma cancer. He worked for a, a major company. They were an immigrant family, him being Russian, her being Turkish. They had a wonderful family of two children. Uh, I'm a, uh, the husband of uh, her oldest and only daughter. And... Uh, she serves the disabled community like us, like me. That's how we met. Defending a child in a right to have educational services. Imagine that. I had to defend a six-year-old child to be educated and to be placed in class and have the services in place. What's wrong with that picture? That an advocate has to come in and fight. I want you to contemplate that. Remember, we the people of our district elected these people to protect that very right and an advocate, non-politician, had to go out and enforce that right. That's a problem. It's a problem for all of us. We don't want those problems no more. Let's go back in the living room. These, this apartment is the original apartment. She's taking care of it and taking care of a family and a sick husband throughout these years. Now, in her time of need, all of that tax money she paid for the last 50 years to the United States of America becoming a citizen has not contributed anything back to her but complaints, elder care, elder serve. <laughs> elder serve. Who they serving? Okay? Not the elderly. It's my job. It will be my job why I'm calling you at night from my home because I'm gearing myself up to be the servant you need me to be. The voice that needs to make clear to the other members of that body of government that says uh, Nassau County is entitled to whatever those numbers are. I don't know those yet. I'm not the congressman yet. But by your choice, I know I'm going to be because the overwhelming emails are coming in. They've been pleading with me to do this 
a decade ago. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to leave private and go public. But looking at my mother-in-law, my own father, getting bills when she gets $1,358 a month and her rent is $999 in a rent control and it's a nice building. It's safe, it's secure, it has a lot of luxuries. But when they become old like my mother-in-law, they're badgered, they're bullied. Just like disabled children are bullied in schools. I bet you didn't know that. Why am I bringing the two the same? Because our life has shown us when we, we kind of go backwards as we get older. We go back to the mindset and ability of a child. It's something we've been dealing with. But we want our elderly to be enjoy the golden years. There's nothing golden about these years for her. And I'm sure a lot of you are saying that right now. My mother struggles for home care. She has a heart condition. She's got clogged arteries. And you know old school moms. I'm sure you guys out there, folks, you know, your mom doesn't want to go to the doctor. They, they don't want to go. Because you know what? I think it's because they're afraid. They're afraid because this country has deteriorated by the people we elected. She's got to pay out of that $1,358. They want $300. $359. Are they for real? What is she supposed to eat? Dog food? And she has a pet. And, and, and we all have pets. I have a service dog. All you dog lovers out there, like me, I know you're with me on this. One of the most terrible things I witnessed, of course we're on this subject, is an elderly woman in Nassau County. I was on line behind her. And she was buying some little food, little things. She was alone, I was listening to her, and she was maybe 72 years old. And she had some pet foods, companion foods, like my companion, Grace. You all saw that video with me and my service dog. And she was short. And she appeared to be a widow, all by herself. And I'm looking at her, and she was short some money, and she had to hold back some of the food on there. In America, excuse me, when you see an elderly person, and they got some foods there, and, and they got pet foods there too, and the things that we've heard about them eating pet food because they couldn't afford regular food. We're helping other countries and letting the wisdom of our country flush them down the toilet and making them eat dog food. My dog don't eat dog food. He eats what I eat. He eats some other nutritious uh, companion uh, meals that are out there. And by the blessings and grace that I have in my life, I give my dog because he's a member of the family. But when a member, a human being, is online and she has to push away some of the food, and I told the woman, I'm overwhelmed by telling you this because it's wrong. It's wrong and we shouldn't allow it. It shouldn't be even heard or spoke of. You hear this in third world countries. This is the United States of America. When the woman said, uh, I'm sorry. And the, I told the woman, is there anything else you need? To get it, give her that and whatever else she wants. Because it's wrong. Because that could have been my mom.